I don't have the resources nor the manpower or neither does Border Patrol to be able to adequately cover that, that 100 miles of border. It's not new news that securing the southern border can be difficult given the vast and open area of our region. In 2006, KFOX showed you how Hudspeth County Sheriff's deputies exchanged gunfire with drug smugglers who looked to be protected by Mexican Army personnel. And that side over there, that is the Mexican side. Those were Sheriff Arvin West's deputies outmanned and outgunned that day. But even after that, West's force saw very little increase in help from the federal government. And his deputies who still watch the border believe local involvement is important to national security. Boots on the ground is the name of the game. The more people that are out there with eyes looking, um, the more people who are doing the job to, to check and look for illegal activity and uh, maybe terrorist activity. It's a win situation. And because of the wide open border, illegal activity happens under the radar. Right behind me, you can see a dirt road that leads right to the edge of the border. Anyone can just use this footbridge to get to the other side. There's also evidence of people haven't been here. For example, there's a campfire over there. The sheriff that I spoke to says usually when he sees that, that's evidence of people that have been here and they usually just cross over without anybody guarding this area. What's new is the help Sheriff West did get comes not by trained deputies like himself, but by everyday people. Through our experience of people who have been stopped by Border Patrol, there's a large number of them in this area that are drug dealers or gang members. This family that wants to keep its identity secret wanted to do something about the illegal crossers they see almost every day from their front door. Because we needed to let um, people know, uh, politicians who had the um, authority to influence security on the border and, um, you know, to let them know what was going on. The family volunteered in a pilot study to place a camera on their rooftop to monitor illegal activity. They could be watching it if somebody comes through. From this video, you can see one of many illegal crossings. Pilot program designers wanted to know if other citizens would be willing to monitor other cameras strategically placed along the border, creating a virtual border wall patched together using the internet. Once people saw something happening, if they called it in, if those people would, would be able to be apprehended. Using $2 million in state money, the Texas Virtual Border Watch program was born, placing a dozen cameras in areas where large numbers of illegal crossings take place. Citizens nationwide monitor the cameras through a website called Blue Servo. If something suspicious or illegal takes place, a person makes a phone call to designated law enforcement agencies like the sheriff's office. The fact of the matter is, is without this, we're not able to reduce the criminal element that's going on in each one of these counties. So $2 million has been spent. Three arrests have been made. It's a waste of time. State Senator Elliot Shapley doesn't like the virtual or the physical wall. To him, it's all an angry symbol of a racist past. He cites anecdotal evidence that the wall just doesn't work, and the federal government needs to find other solutions. The best way to handle it is qualified, trained, Border Patrol, and enough to do the job. The sheriff admits glitches are being worked out, but like volunteer Border Watcher says, this is better than nothing. They're murderers, or they're they're going to rape someone, and it's worth catching the needle in the haystack if that's your child who's going to be murdered or raped. And for those who support the citizen virtual border wall, the program will be a success if just one dangerous person can be stopped. On special assignment, I'm Israel Valderas, KFOX News at nine.